Hello. So this is a frog that uh, I saw made uh, right here on YouTube. It was uh, originally posted by Signed Diamond. I'll link to his page at uh, the bottom of my comments area or whatever. Uh, he uses a few different size balloons and um, I decided to try to modify it. So this is all 260s. Okay, we've got two dark green, we've got a scrap of uh, lime green, we've got the scrap for the eyes, okay? So anyway, we're going we're gonna to start on that, and uh, let's, let's see how we go. So I'm going to uh, do the eyes first. Then I'm just, like say, using a scrap. We'll go about, um, you know, two inches or something like that. And I'm going to tie that, I'm going to slightly soften, and I'm going to tie there. I'll put that down. I'll blow up my dark green right away. Uh, I'm just there. getting something else ready. Okay, so here comes the dark green. Now we're going to blow up the dark green to about uh, four or five inches or uh, fingers. Okay, the, you'll see why. Anyway, so I'm going to tie my my eyes on there. I'm going to split them in two. About there, yep, yeah. try again. All right. Here are my eyes. Wrap those around. Then I'm going to do about a uh, half or three quarter inch pinch twist. There. And I'm just going to get rid of this extra part that was the balloon eyes. Okay, now we're going to do about a, once again, a approximately three quarter inch bubble. Then I end up another one approximately the same size to give that a pinch twist, okay? That's kind of like the back of the frog's head. That's, that's the pinch twist right there. Okay. Now we're going to do the loop around the mouth, so I, I'm softening it. I'm going, um, I don't know, about seven inches, okay? And loop that around. However big you make it, you have to make it so this can go, this part can go right inside. And now I'm going to blow up a scrap of uh, 260. And, yeah, about that, but about three inches perhaps. And actually, I'll, I'll put that on after. So now we're going to go about another three inches. We're going to do a pinch twist. We're going to do another pinch twist. Then I, I want this to be a little bit longer and a little softer. It helps shaping the legs. Okay, so there, let's squeeze up there. Good. I got a, the one finger, but I'm going to grab that and it gets tied to our to our pinch twist, okay? Wrap that around a couple of times. Divide this in half. So right there. And then twist that in. So that is what we have so far, okay? Now we'll take our lime green. I'm, I'm sure you could reverse the colors too. And I'm pushing up through the, the loop here, and the knot and, and all will get tied to the pinch twist that's also holding the eyes up, okay? So we're wrapping that a couple of times, and now we're pulling the eyes through, or not through, just getting them seated in there properly, okay? So this, this is the belly, we'll twist about that much right there, wrap it underneath, However many times you think you need to get rid of the rest of it. Good. Now we'll take another 260. If you wanted to use a 160 for these legs, that would be fine. Okay, I just prefer to use a 260. So the, uh, the balloon gets tied to the, the bottom of the frog. And then we're going to do an, uh, one, one and a half inch bubble. Then a pinch twist. The pinch twist is pretty much needed to hold the legs or the feet kind of straight. So, you know, a, a three-quarter inch bubble, a three-quarter inch bubble, a three-quarter inch bubble, all of those are tied together. And then, um, if I've made this three, like this part here is about, we'll say four fingers, I want to go like one finger more for this part. So just a little bit longer and that gets tighter on the back of the head bubble. So push that in right there, around the bubble here, I'll try to hopefully, uh, uh, I guess I'm not holding it very well for you to see, but that's, you'll, you'll, you'll see. 
Okay. Now we're going to do another bubble the exact same length as there. And we're just going to reverse. We'll do a pinch twist. Then we'll do like three bubbles. One, two, and three. Those are all twisted. And then we need the same size we had here because we're going back here. So that's, you know, approximately one inch or one and a half, whatever you made. And we'll do wrap into the pinch twist. Gonna give it a bit of a tug, pull it apart. Then we will arrange everything as it should be. There. Keep going that way. Keep going that way. Put the legs up this way and then I like to curve them. So right like that. Of course now it does seem to want to settle in like it normally does. I'm bringing the, the legs together here. There. Okay, obviously if you need to get a scissors and cut your stuff out of there. Um, get your Sharpie marker and put your eyes on. And another eye, of course. Do your mouth as you would for if you want a frog. And then I'm going to also put little dots on the back legs. Okay? And this should sit right like that. I think I should have made the front arms a little bit bigger. Maybe if you pull them up like that. There. I think that's much better. And I hope you like it. Thank you.